2016 brought extensive flooding to the Congaree River. The river reached its crest just over 30 feet Monday. Now the water is continuing to recede, making the river walk visible once again. WIS reporter Naomi Popa got a firsthand look at the damage. Just behind me, one of West Columbia's most prominent attractions, the Riverwalk, was submerged underwater earlier this week, leaving behind mud, water damage, and a full list of repairs for the city. But West Columbia Mayor Tim Miles tells me despite the significant damage, it will reopen, just not soon. On Monday, when the Congaree reached its peak, this is what the Riverwalk looked like. Walking trails and the amphitheater under several feet of water. Friday, just four days later, video captured by our WIS drone shows just how much the water has receded. But Miles tells me to have patience because Hurricane Helene took a significant toll on the Riverwalk. At this point, it's hard to tell exactly how much damage we have, but we are expecting some significant damage. We haven't been able to complete inspections of the actual wooden bridges, and that has to be done before we can open it up. The first step, which started Thursday, cleaning all of the mud. Crews have been actively power washing debris off the amphitheater and walking trails. Following cleanup, an assessment will need to be conducted to determine what repairs will be necessary. Go beyond where we are that's already been cleaned. It's coated in mud. It's slick. Um, there's debris strewn everywhere. There are parts of light poles that are leaning. Um, if you look back behind us, there's a, a fence way that blocks a, a ditch um, to prevent folks from falling, and it's leaning. Um, it's just not a safe environment currently. We're always optimistic and hopeful that it's not going to take a long time, but you know, we, we have had periods after other flooding events where sections were closed down for a long time. Signage and benches need to be replaced, and water still remains under some raised pathways. To pay for all the damage, the city tells me they plan to seek federal and state assistance. Miles tells me the safety of West Columbia residents and visitors is of top priority. The city asks that you obey the no trespassing signs and remain off the Riverwalk until it can reopen. Reporting in West Columbia, I'm Naomi Popa, WIS News 10.